Welcome to the 2010 Finneytown Band Festival. We're gonna kick things off with our jazz ensemble here at the high school. And they're going to be starting out with a piece of music made famous by Ray Charles, uh, written by Hoagie Carmichael, called Georgia On My Mind. And we like to feature, at least on one or two concerts a year, a, one of our talented vocalists from our choral department. And so tonight, we did this last year with Danielle as well. Tonight, we're pleased to welcome to the stage Miss Danielle Chapman, who is a member of uh, a lot of local ensembles and was in actually the Allstate Choir as well. She's uh, an amazing vocalist. She can do all different kinds of styles of, of uh, music, from jazz to blues to soul to operatic kind of stuff. She's awesome. So hope you really enjoy this. Georgia on my mind. Please welcome Danielle Chapman and the Finneytown Jazz Ensemble. Other eyes smile tenderly, still in peaceful dreams I see the road leads back to me. Joy
That one also featured Alina Murphy on the tenor sax as well. This next one's going to feature one of our seniors who is a jazz musician at heart, and uh, you'll get to see him in action, Andrew Poulter on the drum set, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Uh, anybody ever heard uh, or seen the Chips Ahoy commercial from way back with Sing, Sing, Sing? You wanna get up in your living room and start swing dancing? Well, that's what we're gonna do right now. So this is Sing, 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 uh, the original big band arrangement and we hope you enjoy it. Featuring Andrew Poulter on the drum set.
I am pleased to uh, present the fifth grade band to you. We have uh, some students tonight that are um, at sports events and things and some people that got sick. So we have a, a few less tonight, but we have uh, nonetheless a very talented group of students in front of you. Um, it's been a big year for them. And what we've decided we're going to do for you tonight, we did this last year for the first time, it works really well, is to tell you a little story about what we did this year in band. So we'll, we'll hopefully make it a little bit fun for you that way as well. So you can go through all of the, the wonderful things that you went through this year at home and relive them. It'd be wonderful. So we have some speakers that are coming up and uh, they'll introduce things to you. And we'll kick it off first uh, with... Actually, not Rebecca Inman, but that's Rebecca Inman from the high school. All right. So we'll kick it off with our first speaker. Here we go. This is the fifth grade man. Apparently, including the first person. So I'm going to be Lily Earlywine tonight. Yeah. Welcome to the 2010 Finneytown Band Festival. My name is Lily Earlywine. <laughs> and I play the trumpet in the fifth grade band. We are pleased to tell you the story of what we learned in band this year. The beginning of the year was very exciting. First, we learned how to make a sound on our instruments. And at first, it wasn't so pleasant. Fortunately for our parents and Mr. Canner, we learned how to improve our tone and we were able to make our sounds more pleasant. <laughs> We then learned how to play more notes. After learning our first three notes, we were to play our first real song, Hot Cross Buttons. <laughs> One of, the, one of the highlights of the year was our first concert. Several of our teachers dressed up and showed off their amazing acting skills for a play called Aunt Ready's Appetite. The play made the songs we had learned even more fun or even more fun for our audience and especially us. Here's one of the songs we performed in that concert, Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> band, we were able to play more independently. We learned how to count more efficiently. As a result, we could play songs featuring each part of the band. Here's an example featuring our woodwind, brass, and percuss percussion section. <laughs> um. 
Once we were able to play more independently, we were able to add harmony to the melodies we had learned. Here's an arrangement of London Bridge with harmony. eighth notes and count more complicated rhythms. This next song fe features each section independently playing eighth notes, harmony, and a bass line or low brass section. Recently, we learned about theme and variations. A variation is created when a theme is repeated in a different way. Here is a familiar theme you will all recognize along with two different variations.
We would like to thank our parents for their support this year. It has been a fun year in band, and we are looking forward to learning more in the Finneytown Summer Band Lessons Program. <laughs> this summer, as well as being part of sixth grade band next year, thank you for being such a wonderful audience. We will end our portion of the concert with a Caribbean folk song called The Banana Boat Song. Quick announcement about the Finneytown Summer Band Lessons Program. Um, takes place in, we used to do it at the very beginning of the summer, and we found that more people went on vacation then. So we have, we also found that more students retain what they've learned if we do it in the last part of the summer. So six weeks in July and August, beginning July 5th, and going for six weeks, there's a makeup week the week before school is back in session. Uh, it takes place on the secondary campus right here, um, up in the 100 building. And what we do is we have instructors from each instrument that come in that are highly qualified. All of them have degrees in music, and some of them have two or even three degrees in music. And they're wonderful teachers. We are really honored to have them. And it's a great, fun experience for your students to really grow over the summer when we know they would often put their instrument in the corner of their room and just let it sit there and collect dust. So if you have not yet seen the information from your students, um, there is additional information in the lobby of the PAC tonight. Also, uh, it was sent out over email. If you haven't received it, you can send me an email and I'll be happy to send it to you as well. My email address is rcantor at finneytown.org. Uh, the next group that you see behind you here is the sixth grade band. We've had a, a really fun year. A lot of different things happening at Whitaker this year uh, with the restructuring of the school district and now having three through six at Whitaker. And one of them has been that we've been able to, to have band in a new location down in the basement at Whitaker, and it's been very nice. Um, we even, uh, you know, last year we were in a room that was a classroom size room fitting 40 or so students in there without any ventilation or windows, and so that was interesting. But we're very happy to be where we are. Um, we're gonna do a really fun program for you. Uh, the first one is a piece from the movie Aladdin. It's called Friend Like Me. It's the sixth grade band. Let's welcome them to the stage.
Our next piece is one that is more challenging than it will sound. For students of this age, it's very difficult to play slow and lyrical music. And uh, the reason is it has a lot, to do, a lot to do with your air support and, uh, and the steady stream of air that has to occur when you play that style. So we've uh, worked a lot on this with this next piece. It's an original composition um, entitled Reflections. Uh, the first piece, by the way, a little bit about that. Um, I, I find this to be kind of interesting that we have, um, the last time we performed Friend Like Me was by the eighth grade band several years ago. So it's really neat to hear that you know our sixth grade bands and seventh grade bands are able to perform the music that, that we've done um, with you know more mature ensembles in the past. So it's saying a lot about where these guys have, uh, have come, how far they've come. So uh, that's a great testament to what they're doing. Uh, the next piece, like I said, is Reflections, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. And our last piece of music is a real fun one. Um, if you look at your program, you'll notice it says low rider. And yes, that is the low rider that you're maybe thinking it is. So we're, we have a lot of fun with this one. Uh, this is, doesn't really need much more of an introduction, low rider.
Thanks for attending tonight's seventh grade portion of the concert. You know, I was always really impressed by what the fifth and sixth graders do. I love the thing that Mr. Kanner does with them. We're hearing the first note, and then you get to hear the progress. So this is the next piece of the puzzle, and, and they've done a really good job. Seventh grade band has taken on a big challenge this year. They have uh, taken on the challenge of going Class A, which is the highest level we can go to at middle school contest. And I would love to see a big turnout of, of support for these students because they're just awesome and they work really hard. And the performance is at Turpin on May 14th, which is a Friday, next Friday, at 7.20. And it's in a really nice auditorium. And I'm really excited for these guys and all the hard work that they put in. There's a couple thank yous I'd like to say before I get started. First of all, Mr. Canner and Ricky Payne and Andrew Poulter for all their help. This year, it's been incredible to have them during class, and they've done a lot of really awesome things with our students, so I wanted to thank them. I'd also like to take a moment to thank Mr. Fisher and Mrs. Pricehawk for all their incredible support throughout this year. I've gotten a lot of emails of support and just words in the, in the hallway and things like that that have been really supportive of our students and our music program, so it's incredible to have that. Uh, also, I'd like to thank Mrs. Murphy. Where's Mrs. Murphy at? I'd like to have her stand. She's somewhere. Okay, let's give her a hand. She is just awesome. I always have great communication with her. She's emailing me, I'm emailing her, and she gets the job done, and she's helped organize a lot of things this year. So I've been really lucky to have her, and um, you know, you can't do this job without good team support, and that's what this district is all about, is having incredible parents, and we're very lucky to have that. And I can tell you right now that I'm privileged to be a part of this community and what you guys do for us. And Mrs. Murphy is just one example of a, of a great parent that comes out and supports us in a big way and organizes stuff. So the first piece we're going to play today is called El Capitan March. It is for contest. Everything you're going to hear tonight is for our contest. So I hope you enjoy.
I know we're transitioning a little bit, so I appreciate your guys' attentiveness. The next part of the uh, concert is a really special part of, of our event. We were so lucky in 7th and 8th grade band to have so many participants in District 14 solo and ensemble contest. In fact, there were a ton of students involved, and they just did an incredible job. And I asked two of those ensembles that performed, out of the many ensembles that performed, to uh, perform tonight. And this is a horn quartet. Actually, there's more than that. There's five of them. But it's written for four horns. There's a double part in there. And they've just done an incredible job. I'm very blessed and very lucky to have such a great horn section. And they're going to play cap Capriccio for you. Thank you. 
We're really privileged to have a lot of uh, special talents around here. And this year, I asked some of our seventh graders to come up and, and join our eighth grade band because of some numbers in our flute section. When we started out in seventh grade, we had a ton of flutes, and then a lot of them moved out. So we, we were up with three. So to help them out and, and to fill out the band and contest, there's a, a judge's rating that is based on instrumentation. So with that being said, they're out helping us out by coming over and helping us with that part of the rating. So I really appreciate that. If you're in seventh grade band and you are uh, participating today, please stand up so we can give them a round of applause. The eighth grade band will perform on May 14th, Friday, next Friday, just like the seventh grade band, but they perform at 825 at Turpin High School as well. And they will be in the auditorium, and, and they've been doing a great job. They're going to go class A as well. Um, and they just, they really are a hardworking group, and I'm really proud to be a part of them, and they're a joy to come to every day. And I'll tell you, this band is a band that when they come to rehearsal, they're ready to go, and they have a lot of energy, so I really appreciate it. Every, every bit of ounce of energy they've given me for two years, and they're real special to me, so I really appreciate it. Let's give them a round of applause, the eighth grade band. Our next selection will be Shackleford Banks. It's a really cool Western tune, and it's part of our contest requirements, and I'm really excited for you to hear this piece. It's got a lot of really cool percussion sounds, and it should sound like that there is a bunch of horses in the middle coming down with Katie playing the woodblock, so it's an exciting piece.
Here comes the most difficult part of the concert for me. Any time that I have to pick two individuals as examples of outstanding students, it's really tough to do because we have so many incredible eighth grade band students that it's always hard for me to pick this year's director's award or any year. You know, I was looking back through the list of people that have gotten chosen as director's award recipients, and it's amazing what they're doing in high school and the leadership they show. So it's definitely a very prestigious award, and I'm really proud of all those who've received it. This year, however, we only can choose two. So I just want to say to all the eighth grade band members that I value you guys a tremendous amount, and I do care about you, and I notice what you do well. So if you don't get chosen, just know that you're incredible, and I notice everything that everybody does every day, and I want you to know that, okay? Let's give them another round of applause. You know, the first recipient is someone who ex excels in music to a high level. But he also excels in academics, and he excels on the field of sports. His musicianship is extremely impressive. But he's a silent leader, and he's an example as a musician to everyone. He has helped this group go to the next level. I'm always amazed, amazed at how self-critical the student is of his playing. Even at a young age, he notices what he does well, and he works hard towards his shortcomings. He practices and works until it's perfect. His determination is excellent, and he will not stop until he has achieved his goals. This student will no doubt go on to achieve incredible things as a professional. He is a student that will go to be a great leader for our country, for small organizations, and for other students and adults. Our first recipient of the Director's Award is Brad Steinle. The second recipient is someone who's really done a lot for this program. She is someone who ins has inspired me as a musician. Just hearing her practice and play makes me think, you know what, I better get in that practice room a little bit more because this student's really working hard and you know, I'm really impressed by what she's doing. It inspires me to be better. I remember hearing her solo at Solon Ensemble Contest her seventh grade year. And during her performance, the judge made on eye contact with me as she was playing and mouthed the words, wow. <laughs> Every time she performs, people are amazed. She does not take her talent for granted, and she works hard every day and practices consistently. Even when the band music is not challenging her, she would give it 110%. She's always willing to be an example to the class, and her peers respect her on a high level. She has mentored other Horn students and shown extreme leadership. Her attitude is humble, positive with others. She supports her classmates and has helped them succeed as well. I am so excited to see this student in the future because I know that if she chooses to be a musician, she will be a principal player in a major symphony orchestra. There's no doubt. When she plays, it inspires others. The memory that I have for many years to come is when she plays Stars and Stripes Forever, the piccolo solo, mind you, on the horn in the first concert. That will always be an impression on my mind. She's absolutely amazing, Christina Cowan. All right, our last piece is Variance on a Shape Note Tune. It's an incredible piece. There's a technique called shape note singing where performers in this day and time, early 1800s, were not as refined as musicians. They didn't have the education to be able to sing written music. So they came up with a notation system that had shapes that represented different pitches and different lengths and how long to hold the notes. 
And it's really interesting. So this composer took that idea and made a piece with actual written music to interpret that style. So this is variants on a shape note tune.
This next portion of the concert is a very special one. Um, it's one that we've worked hard on and we've taken on a big challenge. This is actually a piece that I played timpani on at, at Miami University several years ago. Um, and I really, I really enjoyed it and I, I thought it was a great piece. And, you know, I thought Zach Stump is doing incredible things on clarinet. We ought to take a chance to feature him. Um, Zach is an incredible talent. And what you're going to hear tonight is just going to blow you away. And the percussion ensemble has worked extremely hard. We're lucky to have uh, Mrs. Hartman. Mrs. Hartman, wave at him. <laughs> by the way, that piano was, uh, you know, funds raised by FMPA to get that nice piano. Let's give them a round of applause. We also are lucky to have a harp player from Wyoming. She came over and she's given her time to us and I'm really appreciative. Her name is Carmen. Carmen, stand up. So without further ado, let's have thunderous applause for Zach Stump.
Before we move on with the high school part of the, pro the rest of the uh, program, the band portion of the program, I want to uh, invite someone up to the stage and she's going to talk to you a little bit about, um, about band for next year. For those of you that are eighth grade parents or are high school band parents, make sure before you leave tonight that you get a band camp packet up in the lobby. Also, anybody that is interested in summer band lessons, there is information as well in the lobby or you can send me an email and I will get information out to you either way, if you prefer uh, via email. Uh, if Kim Fain could come up on stage. <laughs> Kim Fain. Come on up. While she's coming up, let's give her a round of applause. She says I'm dead. But over the past uh, few years here, Kim has been our vice president of high school band for uh, the Finneytown Music Parents Association. And during that time, uh, Kim, her saying has been band rocks at every music parents meeting. Uh, it's been a kind of a, a staple in the meeting. But Kim, uh, what, you, what you need to know about Kim, if you don't already know it, is that she organizes all the things that make band fun. All the, the pregame picnics and all of the fun activities, little things from ice cream to potluck dinners, all those kind of things. Um, she's an amazing person. She hates that I'm embarrassing her right now. Um, but we want to uh, show her in a small way um, what she means to us for what she's done over these past few, few years um, with the Finneytown Marching Band program. And um, while Don McClavick, we're in good hands with her next year, Kim has trained her well and she'll be in great shape for the uh, task that lies ahead. It's a big job and we owe a lot to Kim Fain. So let's give it up for her. Okay, high school band members, you can make your way up to the stage. And did uh, Kim Payne had something as well? I don't know. There's Kim Fain and Kim Payne. I don't know. So while the band students are coming up, if she has something.
an honor to go on the Chicago trip with these students. They were absolutely perfect the entire time, even for three hours on a dinner dance cruise. So that says a lot right there. Um, not, a, not a single problem with any of these students. They were absolutely amazing. Uh, this next piece we performed at both the Veterans Hospital and then also at the Field Museum. And this particular piece was beautiful at the Field Museum with the acoustics the way they were. Um, this is a setting of Amazing Grace that, it, that was recently composed, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy the different way that Frank T. Kelly portrays this uh, famous piece.
veterans in the audience tonight. Raise your hands high. Awesome. On the Chicago trip, we played at a veterans hospital, as I mentioned, and we had a large turnout. We had no idea what we were in for. Um, when we played this particular piece, uh, we had each branch of the military stand up as we're going to do with you. This piece is dedicated to our uh, service men and women. We, uh, we played this for them, and we had no idea how it would touch the, the lives of the people we played for, but also the lives of the students. We had several students that were in tears after the performance and, and seeing the impact that it really had and, and really understanding what it means to, to serve our country and the sacrifices that have been made for you and I. And so it's a very powerful thing for these guys and a great thing for our youth, including myself, to learn. And so that was the highlight of our Chicago trip, and these guys would agree. We talked a lot about it. The power of music is a pretty amazing thing, and when you have sacrificed for your country and you hear the song of your branch of the military, it's a pretty powerful thing as well. So as you hear the branch of your armed forces, and I will tell you when it's time for you to stand, I would like you to stand and we will recognize you. This is the armed forces salute.
Baby. The last piece of the night is one that we played as an encore because when we were done playing this, all of the, uh, the guys there were chanting, one more, one more, and then they started chanting, two more, two more. <laughs> we only did one, but um, this last one is a big one, and as, as I told them, it's not really patriotic, but it's big and loud. And they said, yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna do it for you. So thanks for your patience tonight with all the setup and everything. Really proud of all these students. We have a uh, a wonderful music program here at Finney Town. We're really blessed. And a lot of that is because of your support for encouraging your students all the way through to practice and, and to reach their goals. And, and they've, uh, they've reached them. So we're gonna keep, as uh, Casey Kasem says, keep reaching for the stars, right? So uh, this last piece is Symphonic Dance Number no. Three by Clifton Williams. Thank you. 